Hi, this video clip explains how to calculate the payback time of investing in a pop making machine. I mean, you can apply these principles to anything that you purchase that's an investment that pays for itself over time. So let's say you can buy a machine that carbonates flavored sugar water to make what we call pop. The machine costs $112. If you can buy pop for 28 cents a can, how many cans of pop would equal the cost of the machine? Well, let's say that uh, <clears throat> 0 0.28 times the number of cans, we don't know how many that is, is equal to 112. So we could solve this equation, divide by 0 0.28. That will tell us how many 28 cents are in $112. Calculator says that is 400. So we're talking about cans. So making 400 cans will pay for itself. At least pay for the cost of the machine. Maybe a better way to look at that um, payback time. Um, I have to buy refills make more pop and um, so maybe the machine costs eighty four dollars but to buy refills I can get enough to make eighty seven cans for six dollars now if I buy the pop just at, in a can already it's twenty four cents so let's figure out how many cans it would take for the pop machine and the refills to pay for the refills and the pop machines to make enough pop to be equal the cost of that many cans so that one gets a little bit trickier, but let's use the same algebra kind of approach. So we'll say um, 0 0.24 times the number of cans, 24 cents times the number of cans, will eventually equal the $84 plus the cost of the refills per can. Well, um, that would be $6 divided by 87 cans and so we can go ahead and put that in a decimal form okay so this turns out to be 0 0.071 so a little bit more than seven cents a can so my eighty four dollars plus seven cents a can will eventually equal twenty four cents a can <coughs> I subtract, solving this, I subtract the seven cents per can. That gives me zero point one six nine X equals eighty four. So let's divide by that point one six nine and that means that the number of cans is equal to four hundred and ninety seven. So it takes a little bit longer to show profitability at that point to pay off itself and the refills that were um, used the refills that were purchased. But from this point on we have pop for seven cents a can. So anyways, we have calculated payback time of investing in a pop making machine or some other kind of machine. We would follow the same ideas.